Hi Capricorn, welcome if you are new here and welcome back to those that are returning to the community. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement. Let's hop right into your reading here. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you asking for the most highest divine messages on behalf of Capricorn. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is currently outside of their current paradigm. We ask for the messages for their highest good and the highest good of all of those that are involved. Let's get your spread out here, Capricorn, and then we'll clarify each of those. We have the King of Cups coming up. We have the Eight of Wands reversed. We have the Knight of Swords reversed. The Six of Pentacles reversed. The Hangman. And we have the Six of Cups reversed. Okay, so because we have so many reversals here, it feels like there's a lot of things that you could be internalizing, reflecting on during this time frame. We have one major arcana, the Hangman, that is showing up for you. This is about spiritual growth and self-sacrifice. Um, submitting to something or to someone, trust, and your trust could be, your trust is being t tested during this time. You're developing new perspective as well. You may feel like you have been in a phase of suffering or currently you're feeling this way. But like I said, seeing things from a different angle and seeing the clearer picture of things that is coming up for you. So I'm feeling like some of you are, uh, could be, could be trying to rush into things, but there's something that may be slowing you down from rushing into something. So it feels like during this month of July that this is going to be a time for you to really tune in and tap into your emotions, which sounds like a very common theme amongst all of the readings that I've done so far. Okay, you're like the, what, you're the 10th reading. And so far, it has sort of been like a very similar message with you all going through a spiritual level up, a spiritual upgrade in some way, and really getting in tune with your emotions and balancing those because there are so many distractions that um, are going on around you, and that's for everyone. So that's pretty general. Keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take the parts that do resonate and apply it however it fits for you. The King of Cups is coming up in your overall position, your overall energy for the month of July. So this is saying that some of you are going to be working on a sense of feeling calm, which lets me know that you're going to be tapping in and tuning in during this month so that you can find your peace. Because I feel like some of you could be in a position where you may want to pop off, but I feel like you're trying to change your ways. <laughs> And some of you feel like there are certain things that you shouldn't even invest your time and energy into. And so there's a very calming energy that is coming over some of you. So you're managing your emotions in a way. You're practicing self-compassion and compassion for others and trying to be in a place of not taking things too personally. So I do feel like a very philanthropic or leadership role that you may be coming into during this month because it feels like a, a very social month where you're trying to get out and you're communicating with people. I'm hearing like-minded individuals. Some of you are leaving behind. Most recently you have or some of you are in the phase of leaving behind old relationships and people that don't serve a purpose in where you're going, this new phase in your life. And I think we discussed that in the last reading from May to June, that there was going to be some transitions that happened in some of your relationships because you're kind of moving on and um, sort of seeing people for who they are, what they are, how they respond, um, all of those things, and sort of moving on from that. Look at that Queen of Swords is coming up uh, as well. I'm going to put this back on the deck, but I feel like you're removing yourself from narrow-minded people. Okay, this is what this feels like because you're trying to expand in some sort of way. So, and I feel like some of you may have been may have been surrounded by people who served a purpose when they did, but I feel like they're not matching your energy right now. Why is this King of Cups here? Aquarius energy, Pisces energy here. We have the Magician and we have the Hermit in reverse. Very interesting two major arcanas coming out. So for you, this is a major thing that you are trying to manifest just a shift in your life, a change in your life when it comes to how you see people, 
how you're compassionate to yourself and other people, how you balance your emotions out. And some of you may even feel like during this time as you're transitioning, it may feel a little bit lonely on this road. And when you're doing conscious work, honestly, it, it feels lonely when you're going to the top. Okay. That, that, that phase is, is that phrase is, is so on point because it definitely feels lonely when you're when you're upgrading, okay, when you're leveling up in some sort of way. So some of you may turn to things that are going to bring you some happiness and freedom and peace and make you feel a part of. So there's an inner artist that some of you may be tapping into, which is why some of you may think about philanthropy or you may think about painting or singing, um, Maybe even jumping into sports in some sort of way. Um, I, I definitely feel like it's more something, and that's going to be for a small group of you, but I feel like it's something um, more calming and soothing to your spirit that you can do on your own. So singing and writing and dancing, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be group activities because you're really exploring different parts of yourself during this time. But this King of Cups is definitely all about balance and giving more to yourself is what I'm feeling here. Um using your emotions and your intuition, balancing those twos and feeling into uh, and feeling, feeling things, uh, freeing your spirit from things that you may have been attached to that um, doesn't feel healthy. And it also feels outdated. Okay, so it definitely feels like a spiritual level up as the magician is here, where you're creating something new in your life. So it feels like some of you Capricorns out there are turning a leaf in some way. Turning a leaf emotionally, turning a leaf when it comes to people you're surrounding yourself with. You may even be changing jobs or industries or make starting a new business, changing businesses, changing your partner, okay, <laughs> whether that is intimate or in business. But there is a change that is definitely coming for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me fill into this energy a little bit more. Some of you may be seeing the number 10 or you may be seeing 1, 1, 1, 11, 11, 11. Often this is definitely confirmation that things are changing and you're walking into a new portal. Okay. All right. So let's feel into this a little bit more overall energy. Virgo energy here too. I'm almost feeling like somebody tried to play you, Capricorn. That's that's what I'm that's what I'm picking up from this Virgo. Like somebody must think I'm a fool, but I see right through you is what I hear. I see right through you. So some of you are currently in this energy, and some of you may be experiencing this during this upcoming month. Seeing right through somebody, like somebody tries to play you for a fool, or they're taking your kindness for weakness, taking advantage of you in some sort of way. But I do feel like you you may not be making a move just yet because you need more information, more evidence, whatever this is. And this is why this King of Cups is coming into play because you're really doing your best here, Capricorn, to not pop off. That's what I'm feeling. Is that why you're trying to stay calm? You're trying to keep manage your emotions so you don't fall back into old ways, okay? It's, a, it's like people are trying to tempt you to do things that you used to do and you're trying to move on from that. So it sounds funny. Like I want to laugh because it's like I, I know a lot of Capricorns and a lot of family members that are Capricorns. And I, and I, I have discussed in my readings before when you have, when you take a zodiac sign, the months are different. Okay. Cause they both, the zodiac, one zodiac sign falls into two different months. December Capricorns will pop off in a hot second. Okay. My mom is a Capricorn. I have cousins that are Capricorns and like, I know the game. So these December Capricorns, I feel like this is probably you, okay? And they could even be, you know, we talked about Pisces and Aquarius here. It could be January as well, where you're turning a new leaf and you're speaking up for yourself, but you're really trying to manage your emotions, okay? So it could be either. I just know that December Capricorns are more prone to popping off versus January, because I do know January as well. But the, since we have Aquarius and Pisces energy here, we could be talking about January because J Aquarius also lands in January as well. So it could be the Capricorns in January, you could be turning on a new leaf. And like I said, getting with yours and letting people know how you feel. Okay, but I definitely feel like someone tried to play you for a fool, but you're, you're trying to get more information. You're trying to you're trying to be the higher version of yourself and not and not pop off. OK, so that's not going to resonate with everyone. But that's the energy I'm feeling is that an emotional level, a level up is happening for you. And for some of you, it's going to be um, 
for some of you is going to be calming down, managing your emotions, trying to see um, trying to see the love in the person and not what they're saying, trying to not see them based off of what they're saying, trying to not take things personally and and trying to be calm in the situation. And then on the other side, I have there's like I feel like there's other Capricorns that are going to be like, well, I've held my tongue for too long and I'm going to say how I feel from a place of love and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it cool. I'm going to keep it cute. But you're going to know. OK, so I definitely feel like it is a balancing act for you during this month to keep your emotions in line, but also speak your truth and move away from things and people that are not serving uh, you in any sort of way. They're not enhancing your life in any way. In your obstacle challenge position, we have the Eight of Wands coming out for you reversed. All right. So it feels like some of you may be feeling like um, you may have moments where you feel like you're out of control. Like you're out of control. Things are moving fast. You want things to happen quickly. And it feels like I don't have control of the situation and I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling frustrated. I'm feeling tired. I just want to, I want this to be over. I want to make a decision just to get this going, but you have to slow down. Okay. So there could be some information coming in for you that may cause some, an altercation um, that is gonna, that can keep you, keep you in this space of stagnation. But I feel like this is all a test because you're spiritually growing spiritually upgrading you're going to be tested and this is the exact same thing i just told sagittarius as well them speaking their truth and there's there's going to be tests that come up yours is a little bit different because i feel like you're com you're combative with someone um and i know you don't want to even hear this but this is the energy that i'm feeling but i feel like you're trying to find stability you're trying to find your voice you're trying to find power you find justice um, your strength in situations, and I feel like you're being tested. That's what this feels like. Somebody is testing you or situations are testing you. This doesn't have to just be a person that you're in an altercation with. This could just be life in general, scenarios in your life that are testing you because because you are upgrading, the universe needs to know that you are ready and prepared, that you've learned the lessons that you needed to learn to get to this next step. So let's test, let's test you. Let's test you and see and see how you handle this situation. Why is the Eight of Wands here? We have the Queen of Cups. Gemini Cancer Energy. And we have that Judgment card here. So that, that Pluto Energy. Okay, so definitely... Um, you're going to have to, now we have the Queen of Cups. So we just had the Queen, the King of Cups here, but now that Queen of Cups is coming out too. And she's someone who is very intuitive and empathic. So she already feels, she already knows what's kind of going on. I think, I feel like you're just needing some evidence about what, what's going on, like physical evidence, because maybe you're not trusting what you're actually feeling. And it feels like, it feels, I don't know. It just feels like things are changing and it feels uncomfortable for you. And some of you are awakening to what is real about the people in your life, about your your job and your family, your friends. It's you're you're waking up to that. And so it's going to you're going to have to make a judgment call about who stays, who goes. That's what the that's And it feels like you don't want to make a hasty decision based off of, um, I don't know, the past. Or maybe you do. I don't know. It feels confusing. And this is why this Eight of Wands is here because I feel like it feels confusing. I feel like I'm out of control in this moment where I don't know which direction to go. I know what I'm feeling. I know who these people or what this means to me. I know how I know how it makes me feel. I know how they make me feel. But I'm 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 still trying to decide what I need to do in this moment. And some of you may become frustrated and become out of control and may have altercations because there could be some a level of projection um, due to your frustration. Okay. And this could just be and this could be other people just testing you in some sort of way. But I feel like there's something that you know you may not be able to quite put your finger on it just yet. What having the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here because you know what you're feeling 
very intuitive. Like I said, these for those of you who know that something is not sitting right with you right now and you know that you're going to have to make a move. Judgment card. You're 100% going to have to decide what am I going to do? There's a realization that happens. There's going to be a transition and you're going to feel like this absolution that comes through you because it is your intuition speaking to you and you, you just know there's a, a strong knowing and you're, I feel like you're going to have to do a little bit of forgiveness work <laughs> for those of you that may be in altercations and popping off, forgiving yourself, forgiving the other person for saying something to you that it's provoking you to uh, pervert, provoking you to even get into an altercation. But I definitely feel like it gives you a realization of some of these things are triggers. They're from the past and people, these people are from the past and it's time to just move on from that. OK, so um, lots of transitions that are happening for you. Um, in, a, in a major way because we're talking about people in your life or um, career, a career, a job that's no longer serving a purpose. So having to make a decision to let that go. Where you're headed this month is the Knight of Swords reversed. So yeah, this is a lot of intense energy because this Knight of Swords reverse is about hostility and aggression and conflict and you being impulsive about um, you know, doing things, taking things to the next level. This is why the King of Cups is very important. Your overall energy is to find emotional balance, emotional and man managing your emotions. Okay, because sometimes people say things in the heat of a moment. In the heat of the moment, it's just the same as you may do Capricorn, and it may not may have you may have taken it a different way, or they may have not meant it to come out in that way. So there is some aggression that is coming up for you. We have Capricorn energy here, your energy, obviously, and we also have um, Aquarius. So some of you could be going back and forth with Aquarius or, or a, um, a air sign in general. That could be Gemini or Libra where you're just, there's a hostility there, okay? And it feels like a very reckless sort of situation that you could be in where you can sort of go to extremes, okay? That Knight of Swords, it can be deadly. So it could be that somebody could be pushing you in some sort of way and then there's some sort of altercation. Why is the Knight of Swords here? We have the Emperor reversed and the Tower reversed. Oh my, Capricorn. Oh my. So there's some challenges that is coming up. Someone who thinks they may have authority over you or they, they actually do have authority over you or is challenging you in some sort of way during this month, okay? Where it feels like they feel like you should be flexible, but you're like, I'm doing me and I want, this is what I want to do. And I, I don't have the time. I don't have the energy, but it's like, I keep feeling like someone poking at you in some sort of way. And then it brings on this mismanagement of emotions. Okay. So this is, this emperor is like unjust, like unjust energy. So I feel like someone's poking the bear. You could be poking the bear. Someone's poking you, which is causing this this blow up here because now the tower is here in reverse. And this is about things um, being ruined or feeling like you are trapped in some sort of way where you're oppressed and, and you're, you're um, or you have repressed emotions. So this could be things that you've been holding on to that are finally coming out and and you're just you're just spewing it out. Emotional balance here, Capricorn. Very important emotional balance. So it feels like someone has had their way with you, Capricorn, and now you're in a position of speaking your truth. And they're like, who are you talking to? And you're like, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so it feels very combative. And I'm like, I feel like I feel my energy is as I'm tapped into yours. I feel it getting riled up. Okay, so that energy is coming towards you during this time. Some of you could already be um, or that's where you're headed. Someone, some of you can already be in that energy, but it definitely feels like you and someone. This could also be multiple people. Okay. And that can show up in your relationship, in your friendships, in your family or coworkers. I don't know how this is going to play out for you, but it definitely feels intense and challenging. And remember that you're being tested. How can you show up in this situation? It's a question you have to ask yourself. We have the six of pentacles reverse coming up in your near future. So I feel like someone isn't really 
um, giving you what you give them. Oh, it feels very unfair. It feels unbalanced here, Capricorn. Um, it, it feels like I don't know, some of you may have been taken advantage of in some way because it feels like there is an ungratefulness or someone isn't thankful for the things that you do or they expect you to do it, maybe because you've always done it, but you're getting to a place where you want to take care of yourself, you want to do you, and then it's, it's almost like a little bit of resentment that's building up for some of you, and, and, and I feel like there could also be money involved, which could also uh, intensify this the conflict intensify the resentment and all of the feelings that could be coming up someone could be um indulging in the things that they want to do and have an expectation of what you should be doing okay so like i said there's an imbalance it feels a little bit unfair it's unequal in this situation and someone's being stingy with their time or their energy or possibly even with their money um, and you're like i've always given to you capricorn you're very generous you have a huge heart so it's like if someone's taking you for granted or taking advantage of you and you're at this place where you're spiritually upgrading, you're going to be seeing things differently now. Remember, which is the hangman, which is in your advice position, seeing things from a different perspective because you're now you're, you're now just like, oh, I'm being used and taken advantage of. Let me put some cards around this six of pentacles. It's so unfair. And I feel like some of you have probably been feeling this energy for a while because I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles is also connected to the moon. So I feel like you have, um, you're have you going to be withdrawing or you've already withdrawn from this, which is why there's conflict because you're seeing things differently now. We have the Sun and we have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is about loss. So I feel like someone is taking your vitality, like they're sucking the life out of you is what it feels like here, Capricorn, where you're about love and peace and love and prosperity and success and building together and you know and you know wanting to live a healthy lifestyle and feel confident and just be happy in general like be free spirited and someone is stifling your energy so that is coming up for some of you and and i feel like there there may be some sort of difficulties whether that is a financial situation your health is in jeopardy um, or there's some sort of temporary hardship or um, or loss that you may feel. Some of you could be feeling helpless, you know, coming up like, what do I do? This is the reason why you have to sit and find ways to calm yourself and manage your emotions, like we said, because this is the overall energy. Be generous with yourself, and some of you are just needing to step into that leadership role that we know that you are. You are a leader here, but I feel like you've taken the back seat in some sort of way. So getting out and connecting with like-minded people is important because for some of you, some of the people you've been surrounded by are not objective, okay? I'm just going to keep it real. They're not objective. They're one-sided. And if they're your friends, they may just be taking your side and not seeing the bigger picture of things, which I feel like you are now because both parties, whoever this is or whoever these people are, everyone plays a role in the dysfunction that is happening in this moment. Okay. So surround your people with some surround yourself with people who are objective, like play can play the devil's advocate and those who are going to hold you accountable for some of the actions that you may be, um, participating in to uh, of the downfall of a relationship or the downfall of something, whatever this is that is bringing you grief and strife and um, anger. Okay. So I feel like you just want peace, love and happiness. And I feel like it has been stolen from you in a way. Okay. And this is also a choice here, Capricorn. I'm going to hold you accountable in this moment that we make a choice for everything. So it's not that this person has done this to you. You've allowed this person to do it to you. And I just feel like now you're stepping into a strength and a power that you either lost or never had. But now you're seeing things differently and you want more for your life. And so now it's time for you to speak up. Your advice is the hangman, which we just said. You're seeing things from a different perspective. And spirit wants you to see things far, far from a different perspective as well. Um, and take care of yourself. Now it's time for you to focus on yourself. Some of you have been submitting. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with submission, but I think some of you were overindulged in submission. Like you were on the opposite end of the spectrum where there was no balance. You were just like submissive and like not living your life to the fullest. And I feel like, again, 
you're surrounding yourself with like-minded people, you're, you're learning more about yourself, you're happier in your own spirit, but it feels like there is a little bit of turmoil that is happening in, in the environment that has created a disharmony within you and you feel like you're going against your truth. Let's pull some cards around this. Some of you are having visions. Some of you are getting, um, having very strong dreams, I'm hearing as well, with signs in it. I don't know what those signs are. Maybe get you a dream journal or go on Google. There's some, you know, information on how to interpret your dreams. But I feel like you're seeing things, like you're getting physical signs. Three of Cups here and then the Three of Swords reverse. Look at that. It definitely has something to do with um, your, uh, your emotions 100%, but your emotions is revolved around the relationships that you're in. So this is one person or multiple people, friendships, family members, people who are closest to you. There is some sort of disconnect that has happened. There's been some loss in a friendship circle or um, a loss in a relationship in some sort of way. And again, someone may be trying to reconcile with you. We have Libra energy here. We also have... Um, Saturn energy and Saturn is Saturn. Yeah, we also have Saturn energy here. So it definitely feels like and I'm saying it like I really know <laughs> I'm, I'm into astrology, but not into astrology. So I can't exact tell you exactly what Saturn means. I just know we were we've been in uh, Saturn return for for a while in Pisces, I believe. But anyway, Libra energy here. So I definitely feel like this has something to do with you and a person, you in a relationship where I feel like you, this may be an opportunity for you to reconcile and apologize for the things that have transpired, but this doesn't mean that you still have to stay. I'm going to pull one more card on this. I feel like you guys are honoring your happiness and you want to feel, you want to celebrate some of you are celebrating leaving behind. So some of you are having a divorce party or something, but you're celebrating leaving behind something that felt very toxic, the temperance. So this is a time where you pour into yourself and you're finding an internal balance. So this is a time of healing for you, healing from what you have lost. And I feel like through this, like you have seen so much, which has brought on this healing. You've seen a lot with this hangman here, different perspective. And, and again, remember I said you will be tested. So people are testing you. These relationships are testing you to see if you're ready to move to the next level. So this month is all about healing for you. Healing, seeing, revealing, and taking action on this. Your final outcome is the Six of Cups reverse. I feel like there are relationships from the past where some of you may be having bad memories whether that has something to do with a relationship that you were in, which we've been talking about, it has something to do with your childhood as to why you continue to choose the people that you had around you. It's because either they have been longtime friends or has been family that you are close with or were close with. But I definitely feel like um, there it has it has taken a toll on you spiritually and you're trying to move past that. Um, and so let me pull some cards around this, but it definitely feels like energy from the past. Scorpio energy here. Some of you want to feel like um, you belong and you're a part of something, but you, 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 you may be a wrong, you may be a part of the wrong circle. Knight of Pentacles and then the Eight of Pentacles reversed. So yeah, it, uh, take your time, be gentle with yourself, trust the process, be kind to yourself here. Some of you have been working on trying to make things work, trying to reconcile whatever this is, try to heal through whatever this is. Keep moving forward. This is going to be, um, I don't want to say a long and arduous, it could be long and arduous for some of you, but this can be a long road towards your healing uh, and, and really working on what's important to you and what you feel at your core and who you need to be and who you want to be and who you should be. There's a lot of things that you are going to be working towards. There's a lot of things that you have accomplished. So if you are in this place right now, Capricorn, of feeling like, or you may be feeling like, um, like I, I just, I haven't made any moves, like life has just been stale and stagnant and I feel like I haven't made any progress. You did. You have made a lot of steps. You have you have um, accomplished a lot of things. That could be the perfectionist in you who wants this perfect life, all right? And this is why some of you that Pisces energy is 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 kick is 
is uh, popping up again, that King of Cups that we pull in your overall energy, that perfectionism, okay, that you want to always feel and experience on a day-to-day -day basis, knowing that you're human, you're going to have moments, okay? So the tests are real 100%. Spirit is saying yes to keep on with this journey. Make sure that you recognize, uh, reconcile, um, forgive is very important as well. And whatever memories that are coming up from any difficult times that you had, any negativity that you have, how can you transcend this energy, okay? Again, it is a level of spiritual growth phase for you. So this is a time of healing. So some of you will need to, you know, hire a professional to help you through this. And some of you are strong and capable enough to get through the healing process on your own. But be gentle with yourself because this can be a long process of healing. But some of you are just starting out on this. So just be patient is what I'm hearing. Okay, Be patient during this time so that you can craft and mold the life that you definitely that you want. Um, moving forward. Okay. So tests are coming up. Self-love, compassion, forgiveness is important. Reconciling some of the difficulties that you face, letting go of resentment, speaking your truth. These, all these things are very important. Pick one or choose all of them. That is your reading Capricorn. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like, comment below if this resonates. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Enjoy the month of July as much as you can. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.